let's find the expected value in the variance of geometric distribution. So we have some random variable x, uh, we have the PMF of x, so the probability that x equals k is equal to 1 minus p to the power k minus 1, multiplied by p. So here k is any natural number greater or equal than 1. So as you remember, geometric distribution is just the probability that the first uh, success in the Bernoulli trial happens at moment of time k, all right? So we need to find the expected value of x. We just have to use the formula that we already know for the expected value of a discrete random variable, uh, which is given by uh, this number here. So look, here we have that k goes from 1 to plus infinity because all the possible values for x uh, are all the natural numbers greater or equal than 1. So all that we have to do right now is just we have to replace this by the PMF and then we have to compute these zeros. Okay, so what do we have? We have here, uh, first let me replace this right here. So we have the sum from k1 to plus infinity of k multiplied by the probability that x equals k, which is given by this formula. So we'll have 1 minus p to the power k minus 1. And this, so here we have k minus 1, and we multiply by p. So the first thing that we have to see from here is that p is a constant. So uh, we can write this constant outside, right here, yes. And uh, now we have to understand how to compute this. So first, let me write this constant right here, and then we will see uh, what can we do with this, okay? So we have that this is equal to p, and then we have the sum from k1 to plus infinity of k multiplied by 1 minus p to the power k minus 1. And now look, how do we compute this? So actually, if we forget about the sum, that uh, if we forget about the sigma right here, then we will have the following, k, k multiplied by 1 minus p to the power k minus 1. This is quite familiar for us. So imagine that instead of 1, of 1 minus p, we have x. So we'll have k multiplied by x to the power k minus 1. What does it look like? It looks like the uh, derivative of x to the power k. So this actually looks as the derivative of 1 minus p to the power k. So, and we know from calculus that uh, it means that we can compute this series as the derivative of the series of 1 minus p to the power k. So we are going to find the sum from 0 to plus infinity of 1 minus p to the power k. Then we find the derivative of that, of the result, and that will be equal to this. Okay, so look, it's very simple again. So we, here we have that this, so all of this actually is equal to the derivative. So we'll have the sum. So here we have from one, but uh, we'll have the series here from zero, from k zero to plus infinity of one minus p to the power k. So the derivative, okay? In respective to, to p, okay? So p is uh, the variable here, all right? So look, if we find the derivative of this, then we'll have k multiplied by one minus p to the power k minus one and also multiply by minus p. So actually, I need to write here minus, because I will have then that uh, the, the derivative of this is uh, the sum, so we, we will not have from zero, because uh, if, uh, so whenever we write zero, then we'll have uh, here zero, then we'll have the sum from one in the derivative, and uh, then we'll have k multiplied by 1 minus p to the power k minus 1 multiplied by minus 1. And then we have this minus 1 from here. And then we just have right, right this, okay? So now let me compute this geometric series, okay? This is a geometric series because I have 1 minus p to the power k. 1 minus p is a number less than 1. So this is always less than 1. So I have something less than 1 to the power k and the sum. So here, actually, this is equal to the following. So this is just so here we have the so the first summons is going to be zero because we'll have one minus p to the power zero so one we have minus we have one the next summon will be uh, one minus p so plus one minus p then we'll have plus one minus p squared and so on and this is what we call a geometric series, okay this is a geometric series and we know the answer for a geometric uh, series so the radius of this series is 1 minus p, so this is going to be equal, so we know that a geometric series in this case will be equal to the following, 1 divided by 1 minus y minus 3, 
Okay, this is something that we know from calculus for, uh, for how to compute geometric series in general. So this is the answer. So what uh, what do we have here? Here we have one minus one plus p. So this is actually here. Don't forget about this minus. So the minus that we have from the beginning. So this is going to be just minus one divided by p. Okay, and uh, here we have derivative. Sorry, I forgot about that. So here we have derivative right there. So the answer is going to be minus the derivative of one divided by p. Okay. So again, we have that this. So the answer for this series is one divided by p. Now we need to compute the derivative in respect to p, and then multiply by minus one, and that will be the answer for this series. So let's do that. So what is the derivative of one divided by p? Is going to be minus one divided by p squared, right? Because we have p to the power of minus one, so we'll have minus one multiply by p to the power of minus 2. So this is actually, this is actually, so we have minus, minus 1 divided by p squared, right? So this is just 1 divided by p squared, so we got finally that the whole thing right here, so this is actually 1 divided by p squared, meaning that the expected value, so we multiply this p, so we cancel this p with this p square from here, and we get that the expected value is just 1 divided by p. Let's compute now the variance. So here we have the variance of x. With the formula is the following. The expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x, and the whole thing is squared. We already computed the expected value of x. We already know this is 1 divided by p. Now all that we have to do is to compute uh, the expected value of x squared, or the second moment. We also call it the, uh, the second moment. The formula that we need is very similar to the one that we had for uh, the expected value. The only difference is that instead of k, we had k right here, we will have k squared. Why? Because here we have the expected value of x squared. So this is actually just a function uh, of the random variable x. So the function is x squared. So that's why instead of having k, we'll have k squared. And the, the other things are exactly the same. Okay, so let me compute that. So here we have, uh, let me first, replace uh, the probability that x equals k, so this will be the sum from k1 to plus infinity, and here we have k squared, so let me do the following from the very beginning, this is the trick that we actually need to compute this, uh, I want, so look, I already know how to compute this if I don't have this square from here, so if I don't have this square, then we already computed this, this was just the expected value of x. So it would be nice if we can get again that that k alone from here, and then we can see what else do we have. Okay. So for getting that, let me just uh, add the following. So I, I will have k squared plus zero in the following way: k is, k squared minus k plus k. So here we have k squared minus k plus k. Okay. So this is just k squared because here we have k squared plus zero. All right. Um, and then I'm going to write just the probability that x equals k. This is given by the PMF. So here we have 1 minus p to the power uh, k minus 1 multiplied by p. Okay, so look, the trick that we had and the only one that we need by now is just writing minus k plus k over here. So now next we need to uh, divide the sum into two sums. The first one will be including this, this part. And the second one will be with for uh, for this part. Okay, so let's do that. So here we have. So what do we have first? Let's have this p right here. So this is constant. So we can't forget about this constant. We can write it outside the sum, and we open brackets. And then let, let's consider for this part. So we'll have the sum from k one to plus infinity of k multiplied by k minus 1, so this is just k, k squared minus k, and then we have 1 minus p, and here we have to the power k minus 1, to the power k minus 1. Let me, I want to have over there to the power k minus 2, um, and again the same trick, right? So if I have k minus 1 and I want to get k minus 2, then I need to write minus 1 plus 1 again, so this will be k minus 2, and then I had so I had plus 1 here, right? Then this plus 1 will be just uh, 1 minus p. So I multiply by 1 minus p, so I will write 1 minus p over here. Okay? 
So here we had one minus p, so we, we have one, one minus p to the power one plus k minus two, so this is just one minus p to the power k minus one. This is actually the same. We will see in two seconds why I want it k minus two over here. And the next step is just, well, I just need to write the part that is left, so plus the sum from k equals two to plus infinity of k multiplied by one minus p to the power k minus one. Okay, so look, we already know this. We already know the answer for um, y from 2 here, sorry, this is from 1. Yes, so we already know the answer to this uh, sum from here. This is what we computed for it, the expected value of x. And we know that the answer for this is just 1 divided by p squared. So let me write that over here. So this, all of this is just 1 divided by p squared. Okay? Uh, now we have to find this, and as you remember here, uh, the way how we computed this was uh, uh, like this. We had that this is quite similar to the derivative of uh, 1 minus p to the power k, right? So one, the derivative of 1 minus p to the power k would be k multiplied by 1 minus p to the power k minus 1, and then we know from calculus that we can compute the, uh, the series as the derivative of the, of the series itself. Now, if we look at this part from here, we can see that this is the this is then the derivative of this, right? If we find the derivative of this, then we'll have k multiplied by k minus one multiplied by one minus p to the power k minus two. So this is actually just the second derivative of the series from zero to plus infinity of one minus p to the power k. So let me write that. So this is actually just so we'll have the series from k0 to plus infinity. And uh, look, here we'll have k0, and actually here we will not have k1, because if k equals one, then the whole thing becomes zero because of this. We will, here we have k minus one. This is actually from two here, okay? Um, and then uh, this is going to be from zero, and we'll have one minus p to the power k. And this will be the second derivative okay in respective to p this is the second derivative so we already know that this the answer for this so this is a geometric series and the radius of this geometric series is one minus p so the answer would be one divided by p right so one divided by one minus one minus p so one divided by p so the first derivative would be minus one divided by p squared and then the second derivative would be two divided by p to the power three so this would be two divided by p to the power 3. Okay, so this is exactly the same that we did before. Nothing new here. So let's see what we obtain. So we, here we have, uh, let me write the answer over here. So it would be, this p gets cancelled with this uh, to the power 3 here, so with this cube, so we will we'll have 1 minus p divided by uh, P is by two times, so this is two times here and p squared. Okay, so this is the first part, and the, se the second part would be just one divided by p. Great, so this is the second moment, so we already computed the second moment. Now we can replace it over here and we can, uh, we can compute the variance. So let's see. So, um, uh, let me do the following. So here, let me see what, what we have so that it's better for us to, to write it over here. So here we have, look, p squared, this is p, so this would be just uh, two times two minus two p plus p divided by p squared. Yes, and this is just uh, two minus p divided by p squared. So this is two divided by p squared minus 1 divided by p. Yes? Yeah, exactly. So this is equal to this. And uh, and now I can replace that over here and let's see what we obtain. So here we have the expected value of x squared. So that's over here. So this is 2 divided by p squared minus 1 divided by p. And here I have minus 
the expected value of x squared, so the expected value of x squared, so we know that the expected value of x is just 1 divided by p, so this will be 1 divided by p squared, and finally we will obtain 2 divided by p squared minus 1 divided by p squared, this is 1 divided by p squared, so the answer is 1 divided by p squared minus 1 divided by p, yeah, and uh, that's it, so this is uh, the variance of geometric distribution with parameter p.